gang war in Oklahoma City. A murder investigation is shedding light on a violent back and forth. And we start with new violent details into a gang-related murder in the metro. Two people were arrested when it happened in November. But now we're learning nearly 10 other people were involved. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has been sifting through all the documents this evening, and she's joining us in studio. Natalie? Well, the court records show Connor Huckabee's murder was part of a gang war between the United Aryan Brothers and the Bloods. And the documents add this war has been going on for about three years. We want to warn you, these details are very graphic and disturbing. A gang war, court records reveal, has been going on since 2019, turning deadly in Oklahoma City. The new documents show Connor Huckabee, who had a handful of previous charges, is a blood gang member. According to investigators, Facebook messages show back in November, he was lured out of his metro hotel room by Danielle Velez. Surveillance video shows Huckabee then get into a truck Velez said she would be driving, and the truck speed away. The next morning, Huckabee was found dead on the side of South Richland Road. Court records reveal Kyle Morris and Rusty Williams are high-ranking members of the Universal Aryan Brotherhood in order to hit on a blood gang member. The records go on to say at least eight UAB members were involved in beating the blood in a parking lot, where Huckabee was forced to humiliate himself and denounce the blood gang and was stabbed by James Selman. The gang then drove Huckabee to this remote intersection, according to court documents, where Jordan Shaw shot him in the head with a rifle and Dominic Selman shot him in the stomach with another gun twice and left him lying on the side of the road. Then the UAB members came back to Morris's wife at Jacqueline Steiner's house where documents show she paid them for their role in the murder. The new members arrested are charged with murder in the first degree, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit a felony. Nearly a dozen members of a white supremacist gang are charged in connection with the Metro murder. News 9's Sylvia Corkill tells us while two people were arrested earlier this year, records now show members of the Universal Aryan Brotherhood were involved with this. Sylvia? Amanda Carl, 11 people are now charged in connection to the kidnapping and murder of Connor Huckabee. Records show he was a member of the rival blood gang member and the gangs were at war. I spoke with a criminologist who weighed in. Well, the gang becomes everything. It's, it's why we see people doing things that seem so irrational sometimes, but within the context of the gang, it seems perfectly normal. According to court documents on November 26th, Connor Huckabee agreed to sell Danielle Velez fentanyl at this Metro hotel. But records show the drug transaction was only a ruse to draw Huckabee out of his room and into one of two vehicles. An affidavit says once inside, the victim was beaten by multiple members of the Universal Aryan Brotherhood. The court filing says at some point, Huckabee was forced to humiliate himself and denounce the blood gang. It goes on to say he was then allegedly beaten further, stabbed and shot multiple times. Southwestern Oklahoma State University professor Dr. Howard Kurtz. Obviously, it was a particularly brutal uh, crime. I think you, you see from the number of arrests that were made that, you know, the community isn't going to take it lightly. According to filings, high-ranking UAB members Kyle Morris and Rusty Williams, both incarcerated in two Oklahoma prisons, ordered the killing from behind bars. A third prisoner from behind McAllister prison walls, Justin Stacy, contacted his sister, Danielle Velez, to get the hit in motion. The, the um, influence of the leaders does not stop at the prison wall. It goes beyond. Huckabee's body was found along a rural road. Now, records also show after the body was disposed of, members did gather at someone else's home. The wife of a high-ranking UAB official. They were paid for the murder. Live in Oklahoma City, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. What's going on, you guys? We're going to jump right back into it here. Greenlit Gang TV. Thank you so much for checking it out. We're going to be going to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma in 2021. End of 2021, I should say. We're going to be covering the Universal Aryan Brotherhood, the UAB, and the Bloods Gang that had an ongoing feud in this area dating back to mid-2019. We're going to be jumping right into the early morning hours of November 27th, 2021 at the intersection of Southwest 44th and Richland Road where a call came in concerning a body lying on the side of the road. There, detectives find Connor Huckabee, a reputed Bloods gang member, 
dead from multiple gunshot wounds. Connor Huckabee was currently staying at an extended stay hotel. When police dive into his text now records, which is like a free text app and his Facebook messenger, they see he was supposed to meet up with a girl named Danielle Velez to buy fentanyl, a couple grams of fentanyl to be exact. They discuss meeting up. They do meet up. According to documents, Velez and Huckabee arranged to meet at the hotel Huckabee was staying at. Officials say hotel surveillance confirms this meeting. That security camera footage also showed Huckabee entering a white F-150 that was described by Velez when they were discussing when and where they're going to meet and what Huckabee can expect to see Velez uh, riding in. The surveillance video also shows once Connor Huckabee got in that F-150, he quickly tried to get right back out of that F-150 and was stopped and prevented from doing so. Huckabee is not seen again until the body is found at Southwest 44th Street and South Richland Road, said the affidavit. Velez, Danielle Velez, was arrested January 5th, 2022. So a little over a month passes into the new year. A guy by the name of James Selman was arrested five days later, February 10th, 2022, after his wireless device tracked him to the hotel and to where Huckabee's body was found. According to the affidavit, Huckabee was an alleged member of the Bloods. The court documents reveal that two high-ranking members of the UAB Universal Aryan Brotherhood, Kyle Morris and Rusty Williams. Kyle Morris actually had cell phone access and was controlling a lot from the jail. He was the one calling shots from um, the jail where he was at. And he had the one that ordered other members to murder a blood as part of the ongoing war between the rival gangs. And we're going to get to who in particular was ordered to commit that murder as part of initiation. Going back to Connor Huckabee. Really quick. He was white. He was a Bloods gang member. That's obviously stands out. That's what kind of made this story stand out even more, if I'm going to be honest. Um, Ended upset. Obviously, these members of the UAB, they had a rivalry. The Bloods, the UAB had a rivalry. Connor Huckabee didn't cause that. But from all accounts, he's a pretty easy mark. He's by himself. A girl sets him up to buy drugs, and a large group of people drag him off in a truck. And you see in that surveillance video, he's trying to get out multiple times, and the door constantly keeps getting shut on him. The documents say war, court documents say the war between the gangs has been ongoing since mid 2019. Quickly, police wrapped up nine others that were named in connection to Huckabee, Huckabee's death. But the shots were being called by Kyle Morris and Rusty Williams inside the county jail. The new court records show that after being taken away in the truck, as Huckabee enters the truck, the truck drives from the parking lot at a high rate of speed. So immediately Huckabee knew he was in trouble. The rear door opens several times, and it appears Huckabee is trying to exit the vehicle, but is unable to, the affidavit states. The group was then involved in beating Huckabee in a parking lot. The documents also say Huckabee was forced to humiliate himself and denounce the blood gang. So... I'm sure they were beating him up. I'm sure they were doing all kinds of things to him. And then they made him renounce his gang, which is like the ultimate disrespect you can do to another gang member. He was then stabbed by James Selman, according to court records. Now, quickly, a guy by the name of Jordan Shaw was the original one instructed to commit the murder as part of his part of his initiation into the UAB. The, tor- the court documents say the gang then drove Huckabee to the intersection where his body was later found. So they beat him up in the parking lot, humiliate him, make him denounce the blood gang. Then they drive him to where his body was found, that intersection that we talked about, Southwest 44th Richland Road. There, Jordan Shaw shot the alleged blood in the head with a rival, a rifle, and Dominic Selman shot him in the stomach with another gun twice, according to court records. According to other court documents, the group allegedly rendezvoused at Kyler Morris's wife, Jacqueline Steiner's home. Kyler Morris, he's the jailhouse shot caller. He's the leader, one of the leaders of the UAB in this particular area. He ordered the death of a but he didn't necessarily say it had to be <clears throat> excuse me this particular person he just said you need to pick a bloods gang member so he didn't say you got to pick connor huckabee he said you need to find a bloods member kill him this guy wants to join the gang jordan shaw make him do it but you guys can all help and that's obviously what happened Jacqueline Steiner's home before and after the murder. According to court records, she paid the group members for their role in the killing. Steiner is currently not under arrest. So that's Morris's wife. She ended up being under arrest. Along with Velez and Selman, Russell D. Butler, Jordan T. Shaw, Joshua C. Arnutt, Justin J. Stacy, Rusty, Ray T. Williams, Kyler, Kyle D. Morris, Michael W. Young Jr., Dominic L. Selman and Kevin C. Nicholas have been charged with murder in the first degree kidnapping and conspiracy to commit a felony. Eventually, they do all plea out. The ones that were facing capital murder charges or first degree murder charges were given life sentences. Um, it all ended how you think they would go, right? The, a lot of them were going to take it to trial. They all ended up pleading out. 
It's Jordan Shaw, the one that was going to be initiated for the murder, received four life sentences and five years for gang association. His sentences will be suspended over 40 years. So they all got what they were, you know, what was coming. Uh, Pretty crazy story. Pretty sad story. Really appreciate you guys checking this out. I will say really quick, you could tell Connor Huckabee struggled with addiction. Uh, You know what my tell was that he struggled with addiction when I saw that he was using a TextNow app and Facebook Messenger. And you're going to go, what? As an ex-addict, as someone who was in this situation, as someone who had a lot of friends and people he knew in these situations, as addicts, a lot of times we can't afford phones. You can't afford cell service. You're going to use free Wi-Fi. You're going to stay at cheaper extended stay hotels. You're going to use Facebook to communicate. It's just free internet, anything that's free access. I can't go pay for my iPhone and my Verizon plan, right? I got to get well every day. So I got to use what's free. That was a big tell to me. So RIP to Huckabee, those people that did that to him. It's a shame. Until next time, guys, thank you.